Good afternoon and welcome to the eighth edition of the Daily Fix. Like I promised, from now onwards, we are going to have two editions, one in the morning and another one in the afternoon. This late edition or afternoon edition will look at one character called Louis Livingberg. Louis Livingberg is now facing corruption charges, fraud charges. Who is Louis Lindbergh? Louis Lindbergh is this man who has run a Ponzi scheme for more than 10 years. The Ponzi scheme promised returns by way of, you know, if you, he promised that if you invest in diamonds, uh, you will get those ridiculous sums of, you know, percentages that he was promising. So a lot of, you know, gullible people, ordinary people invested millions into his Ponzi scheme over the years. You know how Ponzi schemes operate. Living back, you'd invest 20,000 and living back would give you something like 60,000 within a matter of days. So, and this was a way of getting more people to fall for the trap. In other words, if you make an interest of about 40,000 in a 20,000 rand invest investment over a few days, you are likely to, you know, tell others about it and so on and so on and on and on it went until Louis Rubinberg took, a, took an amount of money totaling 4 billion, yes, a staggering 4 billion from South Africans, ordinary South Africans, blacks and whites alike. Lubinberg made no distinction when it came to, you know, making his money. <clears throat> but interestingly, Lubinberg has been a, you know, a strong supporter of Jacob Zuma. Uh, when he went into court in his recent court appearance, he shouted, Viva Msolozi, Viva MK. That is how he entered court when he was, you know, due to appear on this fraud charge where he has defrauded people to the tune of four billion. So Louis Blumenberg has been a very strong supporter of Jacob Zuma. And as things stand, it will look like he has also played a crucial role in financing the MK party. Now, this is an interesting dimension to the whole saga of the MK party because, like I've indicated in previous videos, a lot of the people that are in the MK have got, you know, questionable backgrounds. A lot of people are saying the EFF is hemorrhaging a lot of, you know, talent and experience by losing people like Busisiwe Mkwebani, the former public protector. But on the other hand, it might well be, you know, good readings. The MK, on the other hand, is built on a solid foundation of, you know, dubious characters, you know, shoddy characters who are involved in one misdemeanor or another. And it would look like you know, the financier of it all is this Louis Louis, Louis Livingberg with this ill-gotten money that he's, you know, taking away from ordinary, unsuspecting people. That is how the link comes up between Livingberg and the MK party. Now, with a party that draws these finances from such a source, you, you really wonder what is going on in the MK party. Now look at the people, you know, who are steering the party forward. You know, they, 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 are, they are also carrying a lot of baggage behind them. But we must watch the MK party very closely because I think something is brewing here. Uh, the people that you know, are in leadership positions with the MK, have got the necessary experience of what it takes to, you know, to run institutions. They, they have been there. 
just because they happen to have been impeached from one place or another does not mean that, you know, they, they leave that experience and you know, exposure to how the government, how government institutions function behind with them. They carry it with them and they, they'll bring all that into the MK. But I think this is a party that is getting more and more tarnished now. I don't want to go into Jacob Zuma. Jacob Zuma needs no introduction in this country. But now, behind Jacob Zuma is Louis Lubenberg. You know, uh, how how do you how do you start financing somebody with such ill-gotten money? And you know, and this person ends up forming a political party. You know, it's it's, it's a very unfortunate link. You know, at the expense of poor South Africans. I'll keep on looking at, you know, how Louis Dubinberg is, you know, how his case progresses and more, but more interestingly, I'll, I'll be looking into how, you know, Louis Dubinberg, you know, finances or whether he'll continue to finance the MK party and the general relationship that he's going to have with the party. That is a very important dimension to the whole relationship between Liebenberg and Zuma. Having said that, let me thank you once more for watching my videos. The subscriptions are flowing in. I'm very encouraged by that. But like I always close by, I will always close by saying, please kindly subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.